Welcome back, players. This is Amateur 8 Ball Breakdown with Ben Myers in APA Skill Level 6. Got a fun little practice game here for you today. Alright, let's get this thing going with the break here. On this break, I'm going to do a, um, a second ball break is what I've heard it referred to as. But you start at the second diamond right near the head string there and you go for the second ball so on this rack that would be the nine ball all right so here we go we get a nice little break everything spreads out pretty nicely i'd say but just nothing nothing manages to get in so just taking a look at the table here you can see that most of the balls stay down on the lower end of the table below the center string that being said, there is a little cluster over here, and uh, yeah, you can see you can see that cluster is going to be a little bit of an issue. And, but you know, high balls has this 15. They got that 11 there. The uh, 14's nice and open. So you know, I think the high balls look pretty nice here. But the uh, the second shooter here decides to uh, my opponent decides to shoot this six ball, and I think he kind of kind of rolls out a little further than he wanted to as you'll see here in just a moment again it is practice so maybe he was trying to challenge himself a little bit or something i'm not sure you know he just walked in the door and got his cue put together so you know he was ready though he challenged me so here we go now on this shot i think he puts a little bit of top right english makes this ball come back he made a hit it a little more firm than he wanted to like i said before but uh all in all i mean you know, I think he still had a decent setup. I think he might have thought he'd get some contact or something coming in there and knock some more of that stuff free. And that would have made a world of difference. You know, that opened him up. But right here, you know, I think he could have got that cue ball in either one of those two positions, had a good shot at the, the seven or the five or maybe the three up the other way. Uh, if he had just come past that three, maybe the one to the corner and then have a good shot at the three afterwards. But I think here he goes for his three, and he thinks that he's going to get the, the breakout that he was looking for, and I don't think it quite worked out the way he wanted it to. So as you can see there, that, that two ball ends up going in and clustering up with that uh, the two and the eight in there in that little pile. And uh, he has a good shot at the five, but you know I, I think I don't think it broke quite as open as he wanted it to. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's very experienced, so he kind of knew what he was doing here. I, th I think he had, you know, he may have had something with that two to the corner up there, but he ends up going for that one. Maybe the two is what he was trying to line up for, but he ends up going for that one for this corner over here. And for whatever reason, like I said, he just walked in, so maybe he just kind of, you know, wasn't quite into it yet, and he just misses this shot. And then I proceed to go on a hell of a run here. So just taking a look at the table here, you got a few options. You got that 11 in the corner, 15 in the side. You got a lot of things going on here, but uh, start to try to stretch out for that and decide that, you know, maybe getting a little bridge work in, especially during practice. That's the time. If you're going to practice it, get that bridge out, get your practice so you learn how to use it. On the way around here, I just wanted to use a little top left English and get past that four was the biggest priority. Because I knew I had to open balls down on the other side of the table there that helped me get position on further down. Now, it rolled out a little further than I wanted to because I think it, it hit that four and nicked off the side of it. So right here, I had to use a little top English. I was hoping to come off the rail right there and, and maybe kiss that 10, touch that 7 a little bit, something like that. Give me a good shot at the 13 in the corner. It didn't quite work out like that, but we, we ended up with, a, uh, with another shot here for the 13. Had to, had to break out the bridge for that one, too. You'll see here in a second. All right, so we're going to cut this nine ball right there into the side. And that goes pretty smoothly. And then that, that cue ball just, it comes down and it hits the 13. It comes a little further down the rail, I think, than I expected it to. But, again, you know, it, it, it wasn't perfect, but we, we in there. We got a shot at that 13. But, again, right here, nope, don't sit on the table. Bad idea. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but we ain't doing that. So we, we get over here, we grab the bridge, because, again, get your work in. Now's the time. 
you got to got to know how to use that bridge if you're gonna play on these long tables. So here we go. I use a little top right English. I hit it with a nice speed so I can come back out and have something good up the table. I think I'm trying to set up for that 15 to the side. All right, here we go with this uh, 13 cut to the corner. It goes nice and smooth. Cue ball comes out good on that 15, but we end up real, real straight. Um, got got a little concerned for a second, but I had to just kind of cheat to the left side of the pocket a little bit with some top left English, and that, that made that ball come right back out the way. I, I kind of had to coach it a little bit. I, I was telling that cue ball, come on back, come on back, just so I have a good shot at that uh that 10 ball over in the corner there so but right right about this time is when i started to figure out i just gotta get past that two if i can get past that a little closer get past that two get get my cue ball out here in the middle where this uh where the green star is i'd be in a good shape to to possibly run the table you know then you got that 10 in the corner uh you know you can see i think i went and looked at it right before that shot that i could get that 12 in the side and right here, I'm like, come on back, come on back, you know, and it just got just right in the right spot, you know, just where I cleared that two, and uh, that 10 ball was wide open for me. Just had to hit that nice into the corner. I think I used just a hair, bottom English, maybe just a tiny bit of right on it, and just, just enough to make sure I didn't slide back behind that seven. That was, that was one big thing we didn't want. We didn't want to slide behind the seven. Because then we'd have had to figure something out with the 14. We'd been real stuck with the 12. So just get that shot on the 12, you know. Make, make the 10 first. Get a good shot at the 12 in the side afterwards. Perfect, you know. And that cue, you can see the cue ball had a little bit of left spin on it. A little bit of bottom. Just stayed right where we wanted it to. And right here, all you got to do is just roll forward a little bit, you know. It just clear the 8. Get past the 8 ball and that little 2-8, you know, where it's clustered together just a little bit. And if you roll forward three, four inches, easy mode. You're going to have a nice shot at the 14. Probably could have hit it harder and come off of the rail and ended up with a closer shot to the 14. But then you start getting into, you know, that stretch territory where you might have to use the bridge again. So I was actually pretty, uh, pretty comfortable with my decision there to just roll forward a couple inches and get past the eight ball here. Now we got our star back so we can see where we want this cue ball to end up. And again, we just want it just past that eight. So you see here in this shot that we just, just touch it just right, get it to roll right into that uh, star there. And from there, it's just bang, bang. You know, you just got to get these last two shots. You got that 14 right there. We know where the eight is. We know we got a good shot at that eight in the corner afterwards without having to worry about a legal hit or anything like that. Um, just got to hit this bottom English, got to hit it nice and firm, so you got plenty of speed, and it gets down there, and it don't, you got the whole table wide open, looked like they had a little bit of, um, you know, let, maybe left spin on it, which might have been fine, not, not a big deal, either way, I think the eight ball had a good trajectory, right here, I'm not real happy with how far my bridge is away from the end of my stick, and I'm not really sure why I didn't come down and use the rail, you know, like, get your cue on the rail. I don't know, you know, just maybe I was excited, ready to finish this game up. I like giving this man right here a hard time. And uh, he's a hell of a player. So, but just to, just for this game to end the way it did and for me to run out like that in, in early practice against a really good player gave me a nice boost of confidence for the day. But, uh, you know, I got a couple more videos. I think we had two more practice games here and. Those will come out sometime in the future, and you'll see. He, he kicks my butt real soon. All right, players. I need a little feedback here. I need to know what's going on with you. I need you to leave me some comments, some suggestions. Let me know what it is that I'm doing that you like, that you don't like, what you what you think's worthwhile, what you think I ought to get rid of. Um, you know, I, j I just need some kind of interaction here, trying to bring you guys in to be part of this thing a little bit. And... Uh, Kind of wondering if anybody would be interested in any kind of merchandise. Um, not sure how I'd do it, but we'll figure something out when we when we get ready to cross that bridge. We're gonna cross it. Thanks, everybody. If any of you players got videos you want broke down, send them in to amateur eight ball breakdown at gmail.com. All right, players, don't forget to show your opponent some appreciation with a fist bump and a handshake. 
And I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and ring the bell.